everyone, so I'm here today to do a phonics lesson. So we're going to start with our flashcards first and then we're going to move on and it's going to have a tricky word focus today. So we're not going to focus on um, one of our sounds, it's going to have a tricky word focus. So are you ready for your flashcards? Ooh. A R Air U or a E Z O Oi Or J Mm Your Ear Yeah So those are our phase three. Now we're going to do our phase five. Ready? O, A, O, O, Ow, A, O, U or U, Oi. You, U or you, U, I, I, and uh. Well done. So our learning objective is to read and write tricky words. So as I said, our focus today is tricky words, but hmm. What is a tricky word? Can you pause the video and tell your adult? That's right, a tricky word is a word that we cannot sound out in our phonics. So it's just a word that we have to know and learn. And there's lots of them in year one. So we're going to look at a few today and think about some games you can play at home to practice um, reading and writing them. So these are our tricky words that we're looking at today. Can you read them? Pause the video and have a go. Let's check. Like. What. Come. So. Were. When. One. So, with our tricky words today, we're going to play a game. We play this at school, so you might know it. It's called Tricky Word Splat. So, I'll show you how to play. So you need to write down the tricky words on a piece of paper like I have. Then you need to choose your weapon. My weapon of choice is a potato masher, but you can choose anything in your house. Then you can set the timer, 30 seconds, one minute, whatever you want. And you've got to read the tricky words as fast as you can, splatting them as you go along while your partner records your score. I wonder how many you can read in the set time. Now you've had a go at reading some tricky words, let's have a go at writing some. So here's my sentence. Can you read it? So you've read my sentence. Hmm, I wonder if you know what tricky word I used in it. Did I remember all my steps to success? Hmm, let's have a look. Let's read it together. I like to eat cake. Hmm, what steps to success am I missing? So, I've got my capital letter at the start of my sentence. I've got my finger spaces between my words. My letters are on the line. I've included my tricky word in my sentence, which is like. And, oh no, 
know. What have I forgotten? So that's my turn over. Now it's your turn. So you've played your tricky word splat game. So you've practiced your reading and then you can practice your writing just like I have choosing a tricky word to include. Remember, we need capital letters, full stops, finger spaces, and our letters on the line. I can't wait to see and read some of your sentences and see your work. Okay, bye.